Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I'm going to be telling y'all my September TBR. So my TBR is going to be a little weird probably this month, mostly because I am trying to move to an apartment closer to the city so I can easily partake in my grad school classes but i made sure to keep out all the books that i was for sure that i was gonna read this month so hopefully i can somehow fit those in in between classes and stuff like that so we'll see how it goes but i did want to take part in two readathons because they sounded so fun so i just couldn't resist making a tbr <laughs> i went back and forth whether i wanted to make one this month or not but as soon as those readathons hit i could not resist so, the first readathon I'm going to be taking part in is the Magical Readathon, run by G. I'll leave the link down below for her video. Um, it just sounded so cool. Like, she made a whole map and everything, which I'll maybe put up here if I have it. And uh, we're just following the prompts, I guess, to get started. Uh, I chose to be an elf because that would be fun. And I think we're all following the same set of prompts for right now until next year when she has more details on everything else. So I'm gonna get right into the prompts. So the first prompt is the, the novice path entrance and that is to read a book with a map. So for that one I have Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I've never read a Brandon Sanderson book before in my life so this will be interesting. This is also gonna be uh, the Booked and Busy pick for September. So wish me luck because I have no idea how I'm going to feel about this. And I I honestly don't even know what it's about. But we're just going to go into it and I figured I can just go ahead and add this into the prompt because it does have a map right here. Next prompt is the Ash Torn Tree, a book that keeps tempting you or top of TBR. So technically I guess this tempts me. I just chose this because it comes out in September. But I decided I wanted to read Beast of Prey by Ayana Gray. Um, I think Monet read this and enjoyed it for the most part, so I figured I would go ahead and give it a try. This is an arc that Penguin sent me, which is why I want to try and read it before it officially comes out. But I'm excited. I think this is about like two teens who have to go into the woods of, uh, surrounding their village to kill a monster or something like that. I don't know. I kind of want to go in with minimal amount of knowledge just to see how I feel about it. Next prompt is The Mist of Solitude, read a standalone. So for that, I was going back and forth. I decided I wanted to read Love Her, Loser by Tessa Bailey. So Tessa Bailey has become a new fave, hopefully. I've read two of her books and I really enjoyed them. So I went out and bought two of her other books. And I'm gonna give this one a try. I believe this follows characters from Fixer Up. And I think it's about like, a married couple who are having issues so I'm intrigued enough to check it out and hopefully enjoy this but, but I thought I would throw in a romance too just to mix up my um, TBR so I'm not stuck in just straight fantasy. Alright next is Ruin of the Sky. Read a book with ghosts, haunted houses, or other supernatural elements. So for that one I chose for the wolf by hannah witten i've heard really good things about this book so i definitely want to give it a try um as for supernatural elements i believe the main girl in this book uh is supposed to be sacrificed to the gods or something like that by her village and instead she meets like a wolf or something or a monster there's like magic so I think this counts. Next, Obsidian Falls, read a thriller or a mystery. So for that one, I chose uh, The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is going to be a new release in September, which is why I don't have a copy yet. But this is the second book to The Inheritance Games, which I loved. I love Jennifer Lynn Barnes. She's my favorite author of all time. So I'm definitely excited to read this next book. I want to say this is the conclusion, but I actually do not think that's true. So I'm just gonna say this is the second book but I'm just super excited to follow into the next story into the next mystery to see what happens next to this crew of people all right next is Tower of Rumination read a five-star prediction so for that one I chose In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland this has been an anticipated read for me I 
have heard interesting things about this. I think Cell enjoyed this, and we kind of have similar tastes sometimes when it comes to fantasies, so I'm hoping that will carry over and mean that I will enjoy this. <laughs> or else, I don't know. This is about a girl who gets wrapped up into this, like, plot. She teams up with this princess and a spirit, and has to rebel against this thing that she learns about within her like ki like town kingdom city i don't know but it sounded really interesting and it has a polyamorous romance so i figured i would go ahead and give it a chance next is aurelium academy arc book with a school setting so for that one i chose xo by axie o so this is about a girl who meets this boy one night and they like have this like adventurous night together and they like go their separate ways and she ends up moving to I think it's South Korea and she ends up meeting the boy at this um, music academy that she gets accepted into and turns out he's a k-pop star so there's a lot of things there, <laughs> but it does take place within an academies. I will also be using this for the background prompts that we have to do based on our character. My character's from the, like an urban area, so that's book a book set in a city or a town. This is, I'm pretty sure, set in a city, so we're gonna go with that. I think you could choose where, which island, based on the map, which island your character is from and I chose Corridor which is read a book from an ongoing series so for that one I chose Jade War by Fonda Lee because this is the second book in the trilogy and I figured I do want to read this so why not throw it in there this is I think the thickest book I have on this TBR so we'll see how this goes all right and then uh I obviously chose elf, so there's a prompt for the type of character that you have, and that is, for an elf, it's the moon or stars on a co on the cover or in the title. So I went ahead and just applied Mistborn, because I really think that's a moon right there. So we're just going to go with that. <laughs> Alright, so that's my TBR for the magical readathon. So then I also decided to take part in Becca's Bookopoly. So I didn't feel myself actually doing the bookopoly part because i did not want to because that was just a lot to do um but i did roll four times and i landed on four prompts and i gave myself a bonus roll because i don't know why i was just like i just want to roll a fifth time <laughs> so i did so the first prompt and i'll put the board up here the first prompt i landed on was god's which was to read a book with a god or gods as characters or themes. So for that one, I did choose Jade War as well because they do mention gods a lot in the story. At least they did in the first one, so I assumed they would do the same thing in this one as well. For my fifth role, I did get a chance card and it was Jade War, so that works. So the next one is um, I landed on the Colors train station which is to read a book with a color in the title so for that one I chose um, Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert so that way I could also add another romance onto my TBR so I wasn't ruining myself with fantasy. So that's fun. Next it's steal a book from somebody else's tbr that's the next prompt i landed on that one i don't know yet mostly because i don't know anybody's tbr right now hey friends editing alana here so after i filmed this um erin from books and busy actually posted her tbr literally right after i filmed this so i am going to use that as my tbr for this prompt and it was hard because a lot of her books I did not have, but the one book that I have that she's going to be reading in September as well is um, One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. So I think that's going to be my book pick for this prompt. And then the last prompt I landed on was Last Letter, First Letter, which is a book that starts with the last letter of the last book you read slash added to your TBR. So the last book I read was Jade City by Fonda Lee. So that means I have to find a book that starts with a Y. So for that one, I don't think I have a lot of books that start with Y. I think this might be one of my only ones. So I chose um, Yolk by Mary H.K. Choi, which is 
my first time reading any of her books so this will be definitely interesting and I'll see how it goes but yeah so those are my picks for Becca's Begothiathon as well so those are the two readathons that I will be taking part in. That is my September TBR. Um, I may make a fall TBR. I'm not sure yet. I will see how September goes and then just go from there with classes and everything. But yeah, hopefully you like this video. Please go ahead and give it a good old thumbs up down below if you did. Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave all that down below. Let me know what you're reading for September. Maybe I can choose a book from your TBR for that prompt that I don't have a book for yet. And if you want to keep seeing more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.